Hey guys, it's Rod from Let's Eat The Company, and before we get into the video, I wanna remind you guys that we are giving away a free watch. And to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram, at Huntington Company, and then make sure you like, comment, and share our most recent videos and posts throughout the whole month. Every video and post you guys like, comment, and share on is going to be an entry into the giveaway, and we're gonna pick a winner at the end of this month. But with that, let's take a closer look at what's on my wrist today, and look at the value that these vintage Tudor oysters have. So everyone wants to talk about Rolex and specifically the Rolex Oyster case from the 50s and 60s. These watches in 34 millimeters still bring serious value to the vintage watch market. But there is a watch out there that brings even more value and still has the same rich history. The Tudors from the same era were cased by Rolex themselves, showing the Rolex name on the case back and even the Rolex logo on the crown itself. Here we have a gorgeous reference 7984, with the same exact 34mm oyster case you'd find on a reference 6694 or even 1500 oyster date. But Tudor was able to experiment a bit more than Rolex would under their name. That's what Tudor was for Rolex, a way to explore the beautiful design elements that they wouldn't be able to under the Rolex name. And that's just like this beautiful vertically brushed dial with a small rose above the Tudor name. The Dauphine hands are clean and crisp with tritium loom, and the large hour markers are similar to what you would find on a Rolex doorstop dial. With a manual wound movement and a thinness of 10 millimeters, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to make this your daily watch. Just because it doesn't bear the Rolex name does not mean that any shortcuts were taken in quality. The case, even though 34 millimeters in size, wears larger because of its 40 millimeter lug to lug. And for the dial, just take a look. From the shine of the brush finish to those beautiful hour markers, this came together perfectly. The dial really hits the light just right. And even though it's not a linen dial, it still gives the same effect of that sparkle you would see on a Rolex Datejust. The smooth bezel gives it a more casual look paired with the Dauphine hands. Just remember, if you dream of owning a Rolex but don't want to spend that kind of money or not in the position to, then Tudor has you covered, just like this beautiful Oyster Reference 7984 in the Vintage Watch Shop over at HuntingtonCompany.com. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And a quick reminder to enter into this month's free watch giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram at Huntington Company, and then make sure you like, comment, and share all our Instagram posts and all our YouTube videos. Every time you like, comment, and share a post or a video, it is gonna count as an entry into the giveaway. So with that, we'll pick a winner at the end of the month. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.